Hey everyone, back tuning in to the uh, weekend forecast. We're going to have a look at the weather for the coming week across the British Isles. And this takes into Christmas, of course. We'll see, it will be Thursday, Christmas Day, Friday, and then Boxing Day, uh, Saturday. So uh, it's up towards the end of the weekend forecast, but it will cover uh, the Christmas period for the first time um, with these uh, updates. This is the last weekend forecast, by the way, of the year, because um, the weekend forecast next week will actually be on Christmas Eve, covering the full. Uh, uh, covering the full Christmas week into the new year. So, uh, we'll have a look at the charts in a moment. It's going to be another exceptionally mild week, especially to start off. We're turning a little bit cooler, uh, particularly in the north, as we head towards Christmas. Today really is going to be insanely mild with temperatures, well, you'd almost say warm, really, temperatures up to around 15, 16 degrees quite widely. One or two places could go as high as 17 degrees today, and that's more like the average maximum uh, in the middle of May than you would expect in the middle of December. Quite extraordinary uh, weather, and actually quite extreme in some ways, although the actual pattern is extreme. The temperatures that we're seeing are extraordinarily and extremely mild, and quite worrying, actually, how warm this is uh, turning out to be this month. We are going to absolutely smash the all-time record uh, December, warm December on record. Um, not only going to be close, going to be absolutely, uh, going to absolutely smash it across England and Wales. So, very extraordinary times. But before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages at Gazweb. Let's have a browse widgets and click through the link to any articles that you're interested in. And thanks very much for doing that. There's video ads on most pages, which open out in the content. When you watch them, they'll close back up again. Uh, it's helping to pay for the website. So thanks very much to everybody for getting involved and doing that. Um, and just to say, the websites are using full weekend forecast coming from westtech.d and the weatheroutlook.com. Find the link to both websites on the links page. We'll have a look at El Nino tonight. Um, so that'll be around uh, 6 o'clock this evening, something like that. We will have a uh, update of the final one of the year for El Nino. And I think it probably is partly at least down to El Nino why we're having such an extreme weather pattern at the moment. So this is a radar picture from the weather outlook. You can see we've got two areas of rain, really. One across central Scotland, and then another area of rain through northern England and down into Wales and southwestern England. This rain across uh, Scotland should push northwards and turn more showery through the day. But this rain across Wales and northern England is likely to be on for much of the day, on and off anyway. And some of it will be quite heavy, and those rainfall totals will be starting to clock up once again. Here's the uh, Arctic pressure chart from Wetter Central. You can find the link to Wetter Central on the links page. And uh, well, again, it's another one of these long fed southwesterlies drawing the air up somewhere from around Portugal or Madeira or the Canary Islands. Tropical air wafting up across the country with a push of really exceptional warmth coming through once again. So we've got cloud and showery rain in the north of the west of the country. Central and eastern parts of the country will be mainly dry. There will be a lot of cloud throughout the day, only very limited bright. It's quite breezy today as well and extraordinarily mild with temperatures uh, up to uh, 14 or 15 widely as I say some places going as high as 16 or 17 Celsius today 17 Celsius is 63 Fahrenheit it's what you would expect on the 19th of May rather than the 19th of December absolutely extraordinary as we go through tonight we're going to find the rain pushing further northwards from northern England into uh, Scotland becoming really quite heavy as it does so with uh, many parts of England and Wales uh, becoming dry, well, staying dry across England and becoming drier across uh, Wales through the course of tonight. Temperatures will be exceptionally mild again tonight, holding up at around uh, 13 degrees in some places, particularly in the south and the east. Although the northwest of Scotland, if we wind, may start to turn a little bit cooler by the end of the night. That will be the trend through the course of tomorrow as we start to bat the winds more towards the west as opposed to the southwest. So I think we'll have rain across Scotland in the morning, turning increasingly showery through the course of the afternoon. A few showers around western coast. Elsewhere, we may start off quite a lot of cloud, but I think brighter skies will push in from the west during the course of the day. As it does, so it'll start to turn a little bit cooler and fresher, but still very mild in the southeast. I mean, we're talking about temperatures of around 11 or 12 degrees, and in any normal December, that would be a very mild December day. But of course, as it's so exceptionally mild today, it will feel 
a little bit cooler than uh, we've been used to. And that's particularly so for Scotland and Northern Ireland, where temperatures will drop down into uh, single figures during the course of Sunday afternoon, going down to 7, 8 or 9 degrees there. Quite chilly, actually, on Sunday night. We may we get some touches of ground frost across sheltered parts of Scotland. But on Monday, the next weather system and next push of mild air is coming back in off the Atlantic. So although we may start off with... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, although it may start off with a fair amount of sunshine on uh, Monday morning, a fairly cool feel. It will cloud up through the day with strong winds pushing in, maybe uh, up to gale force around southern western parts of Scotland. And outbreaks of rain will be rolling onto the uh, western side of the country through the course of the day. That's spreading eastwards as we go through uh, Monday afternoon into Monday evening. Temperatures after that cooler start will uh, start to pick up again, so uh, we'll finish up probably somewhere around 10 to 12 in the south and around uh, 7 to 9 in the north. By the time we go through to uh, Tuesday, we've got more exceptionally mild air pushing up across the country. We'll have outbreaks of rain in the north and the west, particularly central, southern, eastern parts of the country will be largely dry. Lots of cloud again on Tuesday. Those temperatures will be very uh, warm again. You can actually use the word warm. Um, I think we'll be up to around 14 or 15 degrees once again across England and Wales. Turning colder later as a cold front swings in across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That will spread south east across the country on Tuesday night, bringing a bit of a wet and windy night to most places. And then we go through into Wednesday in a cooler, showery uh, regime with these westerly winds coming in across the country. So we may start off with some rain in the south of the east on Wednesday morning, but uh, that'll clear away. I mean, it's sunshine and showers ready for Wednesday. Quite a windy day, particularly so in the north, where again, there could be gales around northern and western facing coasts. Showers might turn a little bit wintry over Scottish mountains, but otherwise just rain showers in the north and west with the east mainly dry after that persistent rain clears away. Temperatures a little bit cooler, so in the south, looking around 10 or 11, that would still be very mild in a normal uh, December. In the north, we're uh, looking at temperatures of around 5 or 6 degrees. And then we're going through into the Christmas period, and this is our first sort of stab at it, and it is subject to change a little bit, but I think Christmas Eve itself, Thursday, we'll find an area of low pressure coming back in off the Atlantic. So although eastern parts may start off dry on uh, Christmas Eve with some sunny spells, we'll have cloud, wind and rain in the northwest of where we go. And that's likely to spread across many parts of the country through the course of the day. So that rain will be heavy. There's tightly packed ice bars here as well. So it'll be a wet and windy sort of Christmas Eve with gales possible around southern and western facing hills and coasts. Alternatively, though, it will be very mild with temperatures in the south up to around 12 degrees. In the north, after a mild start, probably turn a bit cold there with temperatures down to five or six. Christmas Day is looking like this. It's rather a complicated pattern, but what's going on is that we've got another one of these weather fronts that are strung out across England and Wales. Very mild air, exceptionally mild air to the south of it, somewhat colder air to the north of it. Um, we've had a lot of this through the course of the month, and uh, it does mean that some places could get a lot of rain on Christmas Day. I think it's most likely to be sort of through sort of Wales, southern England, the Midlands, East Anglia, possibly Lincolnshire, that sort of area that may have cloud and persistent rain all day on Christmas Day. Um, the far southeast could miss most of that. And Scotland, Northern Ireland, and parts of Northern England will actually be brighter and colder. So it will be a more seasonable feeling Christmas up in the north with some sunny spells coming through. Maybe the chance of a wintry shower across northern Scotland. Temperatures for Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England like being single figure. So it will feel a little bit more like Christmas up there. In the south, though, with all that rain, it will still be very mild with temperatures of around 11, 12 or 13 degrees. And then we move through into uh, Saturday, which is Boxing Day. It's a very complicated pattern, but we probably find that area of rain across southern, uh, southern parts of England, pushing northwards into northern England, Scotland. Wouldn't entirely rule out the chance of getting a little bit of snow on the leading edge of that across southern Scotland, the southern uplands, maybe the Pennines. Um, I have to keep an eye on it. I'm not certain about it, but we may see something a bit winch on the leading edge of that rain as it pushes northwards. Central northern parts of Scotland, probably mostly dry and fairly chilly with sunny spells. And England and Wales, after a wet start, probably turning drier, exceptionally mild still in the south. 
south with temperatures of around 14 or 15 degrees. In the north it would be colder at around 4 or 5. Quite a complex pattern though over uh, the Christmas period itself, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. So it is one to keep an eye on exactly where that area of persistent rain is going to set up. Finally, have a look at the charts from the weather outlook. Here we go for day live crowd across the country. Um, and the uh, east is mainly dry. We'll have rain for Wales and Northern England particularly. We go through into uh, sunny. It'll be a bright day and slightly cooler uh, as well, but still very mild. And then uh, Monday and Tuesday, we'll see further rain piling in off the Atlantic, particularly affecting the north and the west. But some will get through to the east. Exceptionally mild again by the time we get through to Tuesday. And then Wednesday, slightly cooler with sunshine and showers. Then we're off into Christmas. So Christmas Eve looks really quite wet and windy across many parts of the country, perhaps after dry start in the east. And then for Christmas Day, it's brighter and colder in the north, but very mild, with heavy rain likely down in the south. And uh, we'll have to firm up on the detail of that a little bit, because I'm a bit concerned about that persistent rain, where it's going to set up through Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day. Um, there is potential quite a lot of rain with that. And, uh, of course, the rivers are already pretty full. So we have got to keep an eye on what's going to happen over the Christmas period itself. Um, so, in summary, well, on and on and on and on and on, this exceptionally mild spell goes. No uh, relenting from it at all. It's going to be extraordinarily mild today. Record-breakingly mild in some parts of the country. And uh, we're just going to keep it mild and unsettled through the coming week. It will turn a little bit colder for Christmas, probably for Scotland. But elsewhere, the temperatures stay up and more rain. That's it for now, then, and thanks for watching.